Well, it's March 5th. We're here. Oh. Taking you up on the snowshoes. Yeah. That's wow. Are these mine? Sure. You're wearing real, you're actually wearing snowshoes. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to once you walk out there. You know what? Welcome to New York. First time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you have to wear snowshoes to get the decoys out in the field. It is March 5th. We're just walking out. The geese haven't really been flying until 8, 9 o'clock. So we're just headed out now. It's it's shooting right now, but it's about 6, 7 degrees out. All the decoys are frosted up from being in the bed, but we'll have to wipe them off. We're going to go out here. We're going to kind of do what we did the other day. Kind of find some deep snow and lay it with Timex. So, hopefully that works again. This is where the geese were. Good tracks all over the snow. It's all drifted over. But what we're going to sit in is this. Big snow drift right here. Sit in that and tie that. They're not going to see us. I mean, the snow's going to be over our heads. It's about four foot drift. So, hopefully they show up like they're supposed to. There's tracks all over. They've been in here good, so we'll see. Oh, hello. Band, band right here. Nice. Band, oh, get him. Band, band right here. <laughs> I was like, four feet. Huh? I saw you. You pulled up on that one on the right. I was like, band right here. Well, I was going to try and get the one that was far away and then yeah. let him get up. Oh, yeah. What you got there? Add him to the collection. See if he's one of your buddy's friends. This is it. 40283. Works. When you're shooting residents in March season, that's probably a, how much you think that thing weighs? 15, 15 pounds. Pound goose. This one's special though. If you look at Shane's lanyard, they're all the same numbers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this, that one's real close. 20 yeah. off. And you guys. We're in here three days ago, two days ago now? Two days ago. Shot a collar. Yep, that collar and three bands. This one landed about right there. I don't know if you can see where it landed. Shane goes, <laughs> I'm up on this one right here, and Shane goes, Band! And I swung and just blasted him at like six oh, yards. Three right behind us. Oh, yeah. Oh, coming in locked up on the left. Get him. Oh. Nice. Nice. I'd be tagged in that middle one. You got one pretty good. All right, guys, I wanted to give you guys a quick look at our setup this or today. It's about 9.45. We got four birds down, and we shot one band, which was about four feet from us. We came in and landed with a pair, and Shane goes, band right there. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the feathers, and that's where we are. So we kind of, we're just running three dozen decoys, uh, mostly full bodies, I guess, and then we got about a dozen shells, but this field, the snow from it blowing so heavily, it kind of drifted up. And if you can see right behind me here, we're just in our whites and we dug a hole right in the side of this drift and we're just kind of dropping down almost like a little pit blind. Pretty neat little setup, you can see. Just hop down right in here. 
drop down, we're level with that. So we can just kind of hunker down in here when birds are coming. They've been coming behind us too, which helps us out a lot. Makes shooting a little tougher, but you can keep getting, stick, at, stick it out and shoot some more. One more to go. Not a bad little hunt. The shooting and filming's been pretty tough. We got this bank here and they're wanting to hang off to our right, but there's really not much we can do for a hide otherwise. So we've just been kind of taking what we can get and having to shoot to the left, I'm sorry. We've been wanting to land to the left a little bit. Those ones landed right in the decoys and we didn't pop up fast enough to shoot them. So we had to get them up and got them. We got one more to go for a nice little three-man march limit. Pretty shoot good. Shoot that one on the left. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good hunt, I'd say. Last bird, first and last bird, we're banded. And I think I missed him on the ground. <laughs> Not bad. My band collection's growing this yeah. year. Sorry. <laughs> So we just wrapped up a three-man limit this morning. Actually, it's uh, kind of mid-afternoon now. Uh, John had to take off to get some tires put on his car, and we just finished cleaning up. Today was kind of a kind of a cool hunt, really. Uh, this ditch behind us—I don't know if you can see that in the video—but uh, basically, this this field is 11 miles long and two miles wide, and it's broken up by all these little ditches that, that run, you know, east-west. Along that, well, along the ditches, uh, the combine that cuts the corn can't really get that close to them. So you're left with a couple strips of standing corn here and there, and that's what the geese really feed on. Like they they really focus on that when they're coming to this field. So we stuck decoys right in that standing corn for the most part, and over that ditch there was a little snow drift, and we were able to hide in that almost like a kind of like a pit line almost, and uh, just hidden Tyvex worked really well. Some geese saw us, but uh, enough of them didn't to where we were able to, to fill a three-man limit. And this March season is pretty much just a resident goose season. 
it's almost like September. You know, you, you go back to what you were seeing in September, roost wise, and then follow the same birds out. Ends up being a lot of the same birds. Uh, John shot two bands today, and they're both local birds. Like I said, this, this field is 11 miles long. So a lot of the geese that we saw today didn't really work because we were set up kind of toward the west edge of this, and a lot of them flew over the east edge. So they just continued north, and they landed about oh, probably two miles north of us. So hopefully in the next few days, we're going to be able to get on that field and get a few more.